Hope you're having an awesome day. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a cutscene in Roblox. For an example, I'm going to be recreating those cinematic shots I used in my Phantom Forces montage video. Um, I got a question on how to make those, and I decided to make it a little two-in-one. So, if you're planning on using these skills, I'm going to teach you to use the cutscene for making Phantom Forces cinematic shots, and this is the perfect video for you. If not, I'm still going to go over the basics, and yeah, let's get into it. First thing you want to do is go on to the website, and then click on Develop. From here, you're going to want to click Library. Plugins. Then you're going to type in Cutscene Editor. It's already right here. I'll have a link in the description. And from here, you're going to want to install it. This is the editor we're going to use in Studio. From here, just open up Roblox Studio. If you don't have that downloaded, go to the develop page. It'll ask you to download it. If not, I'll have a link in the description in case that doesn't pop up. And yeah, depending on if you already have a game made or anything like that, you're going to want to go over to whatever game you want to do. You can start with the base slate, but since I already have one of the Phantom Force match set up right here, I'm going to click on this place. Here we go. Open. This is the place I used for my montage cinematic shots, by the way. First off, I'm going to recreate this shot. enjoyed that little snippet by the way link in the description if you want to watch the video itself you're going to click plugins on the top if you don't have these like toolbars on the side you're going to want to click view and then just open up these but yeah anyway to start it you're going to click plugins here's the plugin edit you want to click on that once we're going to want to capture our first position as you can see i started right here on the montage video capture position i'm going to make that about four seconds long everything else looks good i'm going to click done there we go, here's our first position. Create this little brick of the yellow meaning the start, the red meaning the end, just to show us what it looks like and where it is. I started about right here and I ended about right here. Capture position. I'm gonna make it about six seconds because it was a little bit longer going to here and from. The rest looks good. You could rotate it again by using this. I'm just gonna keep it at zero, move to it. There we go. This is basically the zoom. Again, I'm gonna keep it normal. Click done. And for the ending, I went into the sun a little bit more. Capture position, make that a little bit shorter. Not that short. There we go, click done. Before saving, you're gonna wanna preview your cuts just to make sure everything looks good. If it doesn't, you're gonna wanna mess around with it a little bit more. And there we go, it looks awesome. Wait for that to end. I zoomed in a little bit in the end there, whoops. Anyway, as you can see, I had rays for the video. So in case you're wondering how to do that, right click, insert object, ray value. From here, it's lighting, sun rays. So I'm going to bump up the intensity a little bit more. 400 looks good. We're going to click lighting right here in order to change the time. It goes by military time, so 17 is about 7, 6 o'clock. That looks good. In order to make that nice orange color, make sure it's at about 6 o'clock, something like that. If not, you can make it in the middle of the day by clicking 12, stuff like that. Again, it goes by military time. But yeah, that looked awesome, so I'm going to save my cutscene by clicking save cutscene. From here, you can make it its own script or its local script. I'm going to make it its own little part done as you can see it made its own little part with its own little decal which is awesome i'm going to move it around a bit more as you can see my spawn points right here and although the part looks good and all people aren't going to really enjoy seeing this little part they could easily just jump over it to skip the cutscene so if you want them to actually see it and stuff like that i'm going to make it to where they have to step over it in order to exit the place i want to scale that don't make it too small because it might not show up for them Let's get our transparency right there. I'm going to make my transparency 100 so it's invisible. And all we need to do is delete the decal. There we go, it's invisible. To test the place, you're going to click test. And then play solo. Let's click this little guy with the play button right there. As you can see, here I am. Make sure you graph up in order to see the rays if you added those in. Step over it. There we go, it looks awesome. I could have bumped down the intensity of the rays a little bit more. But other than that, it looks awesome. Again, it looks awesome. Skip cutscene. In case you're one of you who are making the cinematic like Phantom Forces shots, make sure to record it while testing it. The quality is not so great in studio itself, so you're gonna want to play your place in general or just test it out and record it through there. You can close these toolbars and explore and stuff like that in order to record it. And then you can just click view again and just open them by these little buttons right here. It'll ruin the quality if you do it in studio. Um I suggest you use something like Fraps, although it does take up a lot of space. You're gonna want an extra hard drive or something like that if you're gonna do that because it takes up a lot of space. You can use whatever screen you recorder you want honestly. I'm just suggesting that because when I recorded it, I recorded it through Roblox and I realized it was really bad quality and it's an easy fix, so yeah. To end it, you're going to click that red stop button. I'm going to create one more just to show you guys what you could do. I'm going to do a new one. I think it'll look good if I start from here. Again, click plugin, open our cutscene editor. You can save your old cutscene. I'm just going to make a new one. I already have its own part over there. From here, it's just being creative, stuff like that, messing around with it, practicing a bit more just to see what looks good. I'm going to move mine all the way up here. The rays will go through the bars, which might look cool. Capture position. Make it a bit longer, about 
six seconds sounds good. Done. I'm gonna make it go through that into the sun. Capture position. Make that a six seconds sounds good because that's a really far area. And yeah, I'm gonna see what this looks like. Preview. There we go. Nice and smooth. All right, that looks awesome. I'm gonna save my cutscene. Make it its own part. Use a move tool in order to move it. By the way, if you don't have one of these spawn points, it's as simple as a model search in order to get them. Ooh, about right here looks good. I'm not going to bother making it invisible. Test. Play solo. And yeah, it looks nice. Forgot to bump down the intensity of the rays, but it still looks pretty sick. There we go. Yeah. Click skip in order to skip it, of course. And yeah, that's basically it. Again, from here, it's just being creative, messing around, seeing what looks good. For the montage, I just went over to map to map and just basically mess around and see what looks good. There's no really real trick in order to do it. It's just basically messing around and just seeing what looks good. For an example, you can make one start from right here and then go from like around the shop and stuff like that to get a nice shot of the shop. Because let's say you get a kill right here. This is for if you're making the montage thing, of course. So let's say you're getting a kill right here. You could set up your guy and everything like that. Um, do something like this, have it go over here and then show the actual guy where it happened or something like that. Now this part of the video is going to be for those guys wanting to make those Fanta Forces cinematic shots. So if you're not interested in doing this, you can click up the video. Thank you guys for watching. These guys, I honestly just got a model because I, I thought they looked good. I don't want to bother recreating my own because it would take up too much time. They already had their own gun and everything like that. But if you want to make your own Roblox character be in the game, so you can move around your arm and stuff like that and add in a gun, I'm going to teach you guys how to do that real quick. You're going to want to click test, play solo, workspace, type in player one click on it you'll know it's you by it's selecting your make sure you check mark archivable click it again Control c which is the copy stop it and then click Control v to paste it and there we go there's our guy he went over here for some reason model lock lock tool make sure you unlock them there we go see now we can move them around don't mess with these green things because they're his joints from here it's really doing what you want i teach you guys how to set them up if you name them make sure you get rid of it if you're gonna create your cutscene because otherwise it'll show up top of them. I'm going to have them set up to where he's aiming down scope about right over here. I'm going to type in, uh, how about a BFG Phantom Force? Shut up one of the maps. I think this is the intervention. First thing you want to do is just him. I'm going to move his right arm up. Right arm. Rotate. Move that up a bit. There you go. Looks about good. There we go. Move his leg a bit more. Rotate it just to make it a little bit more realistic. Other leg. Rotate that a bit too. Move that a little bit more back. Hold shift to move slowly when you're moving around. That looks about good. And move the gun over to his hand. Whoops. Control Z to undo, by the way, in case you mess up. Move that over to him a little bit more. Use a rotate tool. Move that into his hands. There we go. That looks nice. I'm going to move his arm down because that doesn't look too great. Let's have him just like... Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to make one new cutscene just to show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to start my position about right here, showing off the gun. Capture the position. Make that about three seconds. Move it around him so it'll show the entire person. Capture position. Make that a little bit longer, about five seconds. Done. I'm going to zoom out and show the whole area with the rays and everything like that. Capture position. Five seconds is good. Now let's go preview it real quick. There we go. Looks good. Looks a bit slow, but we can edit that out a little bit more. And if you don't know how to do that, you can just do it yourself again here. But I think that looks awesome. Looks good. Let's say I'm going to go play solo and record it myself. I'm going to click my guy. Get rid of that me because that will look a little dumb. <laughs> Make sure you anchor it. Clicking model and then anchor. There we go. You can tell it's anchored by the little shaded area and there we go. I'm going to save that cutscene part. Done. Move it to the right of the other one. In case you want to set those apart, you can change the colors. So you set the dark tone. Think about blue. There we go. Go step on the part and there we go. Yeah, it looks awesome. That's basically it, guys. Again, you can do whatever you want from here with your character and everything like that. You can set it up to where if you get a kill, like let's say you get a kill right here and the guy's right there, you can set up your guy like right about here and then, you know, set the guy up, of course, and make him look like he's dying or whatever like that. You can just look up enemy or a bad guy or whatever like that in models and you should still find one. Unless you want to make your own and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, I think that's it, guys. It's just like before. It's basically testing it out, just seeing what looks good. There's nothing else really to it, honestly. Other than getting your character set up and everything like that, of course. So, thank you guys for watching. It means a lot. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, of course. If you have any other tutorial videos like me to do, please let me know below. It'll mean a lot. If you have any questions, like, at all, please leave them below. I respond to every single comment I get, other than, like, hate, of course. But, yeah. Again, thank you guys for watching. It means a lot. I hope this helped you out. I really do. Enjoy. Enjoy what you can now do. It is fun to mess around with this sort of stuff. So, again, thank you guys for watching. It means a lot. Peace out.